Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Between the 2017, 2018, and the 2018, 2019 reporting periods, Alberta Health Services spent 2.97% more on salaries and benefits. That seems like a good thing, right? Well, keep in mind, however, that compensation should match population growth and inflation to maintain service levels per capita and to allow workers to still afford to live. Population during the same period increased 1.43% and inflation increased 2.04% for a combined total of 3.47%. That means even though Alberta Health Services spent $240 million more on compensation, it wasn't enough. And that's just on that one measure. Not only that, but the total number of full-time equivalent employees went up by 2.7%, so most of that compensation increase was swallowed up by new hires. Actually, on that note, in the 2017-2018 report, period, there were 79,442 FTEs receiving $8.082 billion in salaries and benefits, which works out to about $101,735 per FTE. Remember, FTEs, according to the Schedule 2, includes board members, executive, and management salaries. For the 2018-2019 period, 81,566 FTEs received $8.322 billion in compensation compensation or $102,000 $28 per FTE. The per FTE compensation increase is only 0.29%. But what if we remove the board, executive, and management? Then we're left with 78,452.64 FTEs in 2017-2018 and 76,381.13 in 2018-2019. AHS paid out a total of $7.847 billion in 2017 2018 and $7.617 billion respectfully in compensation for a per FTE rate of $100,024 and $99,720. It actually went down. These are frontline staff, doctors, nurses, technical staff, and support workers. There were fewer frontline staff serving a larger provincial population, and they made less last year than they did the year before. And that's before the budget cuts that Kenny just introduced. Wages were already down, health workers were down, and now Kenny wants to lower them even more. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. You can follow me online at siever.ca slash Kim. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you appreciate the videos I share on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, please click on the notification bell to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon.